That's why it looks weird sometimes when you see a, a rock river is because they don't dig it out. They just throw the rock down and like, oh, it looks like a river. No, it does not look like a river. Right now they just have it coming down in a straight line. And then I guess their thing is just to have it cause erosion and run off right here, which is not very efficient at all. So what we're gonna do is slow down the flow of water to where it's not just rushing off the property as quickly as possible. So do that, we have a ton of room. So it's gonna stay relatively straight. Still curve a little bit, but I'm gonna mark that out. So we'll keep it just curving around right here. And then we kind of curve it back out here. In a little bit, back a little bit, in a little bit, back a little bit, and end up something like that. And then we just draw the other side. And so this is our new flow of water. This is our new flow where we curve it around we slow down the flow of the water and then eventually it makes its way to the end and we're actually going to dig this out this is not just going to be rock sitting on top of the dirt like a lot of landscapers do that's why it looks weird sometimes when you see a, a rock river is because they don't dig it out they just throw the rock down and like oh it looks like a river no, it does not look like a river. The way to make it look like a river and function like nature is to dig this out into a swale shape and then backfill it with rock. Um, I think we're gonna use either Arizona River Rock or um, Sierra Granite Rock for this project. And we're going to direct the rainwater into the swale plant on both sides of the swale like we got this nice slope right here and we're going to plant all around it and irrigate it with subsurface drip irrigation and this is going to be a really cool looking project